My name is Judith Kane. I'm the founder director of Kurema Kureba Kuika, which is a public art social enterprise in Kigali, Rwanda. We work with Rwandan artists who take art out of the gallery and into the streets to put more color into the lives of Rwandans. Kurema Kureba Kuika means to create, to see, to learn in Kinyarwanda, and it was really started with the idea of putting art into people's lives and sharing art with more people and helping take art from the gallery context into a more social space where more people have access to it. Galleries have been in Kigali for maybe eight to ten years. Uh, there are about five major galleries in the city. Outside of the city there are not so many where, places where people can access art um, and as far as access to art outside of the gallery context it's pretty limited so our purpose is really to help put art outside and help put art into uncommon spaces and make sure that different types of people therefore can access it. Graffiti is not such a big thing in Rwanda at present and when I say graffiti I mean illegal street writing. Street art in terms of murals that we create, if it's on a publicly owned wall we work with the city to make sure we've got the right permissions and if it is a privately owned wall then we make sure we work with the owners to ensure that it is something desired. Our work really started with a focus on using public art to address public issues and some of the murals in Kigali that we have shown are focused on HIV related stigma. So there is a large piece of art in Romera at the Rwanda Biomedical Center that was painted in 2013. It was painted in collaboration with a visiting artist from South Africa named Freddie Sam. And our team, along with the visiting artist, created this work with feedback and input from the Ministry of Health from Rwanda Biomedical Center to create something that was um, of shared value, that represented both what artists envision as a message, as well as a message that supports the work that the government was doing in the fight against HIV. We also went to Kimi Sagara, uh, which is a small neighborhood within the city of Kigali. And there we visited a youth center, and at that youth center, we created a mural with community members that um, tells a message about staying happy, which is the government of Rwanda, Ministry of Youth and ICT's motto for young people. It's about a healthy, active, patriotic, productive, innovative society, and so it's a message for young people. And our mural depicts both that theme as well as a specific message that says um, tomorrow's future is yours, a bright future is yours for tomorrow. In town, in Nyamirambo, which is a historic area, there is a former national stadium and the steps to the stadium have been painted as part of our po positive living campaign uh, with an HIV ribbon, the red ribbon that is iconic for the fight against HIV. For most of our work that's done outside, we um, have partnered with different paint companies, paint suppliers, and for exterior paint, it hasn't been a real challenge because we can find that and we hand blend, hand mix our colors um, so they turn out the way that we like. I think that as the public art space expands that more materials should be coming in country. Of course, as a landlocked place, there's a, always a higher price to pay for materials because they've been imported, and we're hoping to be partnering with different types of suppliers in order to get what we need at a reasonable rate to create the things we want to make. A lot of the work that we do um, has a social focus to it. Um, we have done some that I would say is art for the sake of art, but it, at the same time, it may be created with community and therefore it's considered a sort of social objective that underscores that process. Because we work with professional artists, these artists are putting their own thoughts and ideas into their personal creations, their, their work, as opposed to what our team does, which is a bit more focused on a topic or an issue. The coming together of different creatives to create something that is one. For the future of the organization, I, I hope that we can expand and grow to scale and have a bigger team of both artists and at the management level so that we can do more projects concurrently and expand the variety of projects that we do, moving beyond just street painting. Um, I'm really interested in installation art and working with different types of actors, stakeholders to create something that is bigger and physical that can be in a community or place.